All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another Black Desert video. So today, in the recent patch notes, they made the adventure journals a little bit easier. And I've done them years ago, but I wanted to talk about it again today because a lot of people ask me how to get that extra AP. And one is by doing the adventure logs, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you go look at your adventure logs, a lot of people don't actually know this, but you can actually click this arrow button right here and I'll show you all the extra stats you can get by doing all the extra journals. So I do believe that I have gotten, <clears throat> for the most part, everything relevant. The ones that I'm missing would be, would be the permanent enhancement chance that you obtain just by questing, like 30,000 quests to get uh, plus five. But the relevant ones that I would recommend for the rest of you to get are like the actual stats that you would get for your character um advice of balks and enhancement are just for enhancers if you don't do it it doesn't matter if you do do it it does help it is nice so yeah this is what mine looks like and i think i do have all the relevant ones done so i do have the patch notes pulled up and let's show it to you real quick all right so let's go through all of this i'm gonna basically go down how to go about getting all of them really quickly and it should be easy so with that said let's get started all right so thieves encyclopedia um it changed from seven types of ores to five you go to the central market and type ores and then buy five different ones same with powders um this is actually a lot easier because collecting coins was a little bit out of the way it's not really hard, but it was from those gathering items that, like, you know, the byproducts, or if you went to, like, Paddock's Island, um, which is out in the middle of the ocean. But yeah, now to just collect three different powders, you can gather it, or buy it off the market, and it'll be good. Um, collect different types of flowers. Um, if you gather, this is the easiest thing. You can do it in, like, five minutes, not even. Or if you're lazy, buy it. So this one, collect five different chairs. Now, this one is the one that might uh, get new players because um, you're probably thinking, oh, I could just buy it off the central market. You could, but you, there's actually uh, furnishing vendors in every major city and you just buy a different one from each of them. I don't know how many are in each town, but I'm pretty sure if you went to five different towns, you could just buy them or just central market it as well. Same with the beds. Um, every town has a furnishing vendor. I don't think that, um, pearl beds count, so keep that in mind. Collect artisan stuffed decorations. All right, let me show you how to do this one, simply because it is out of the way, and it does require a little bit of the hunting life skill to be known, but <clears throat> if you don't do any hunting, here's how you go do it. Do it. You go to the furniture section, go to decorations, toggle by the expensive ones, and then you'll see how like each one has a level class. So like the yellows would be master, and then the blue ones are artisan. So just buy the artisan ones, and that should complete the quest. If it doesn't, you're going to have to go hunting. But I believe that just buying it works, because I remember doing it years ago before I even started hunting. So yeah. Very easy. Plus, these are actually really good to use, especially if you're grinding. It's just one extra buff you can have. So it's definitely worth investing into. Just in the future anyway. So you might as well look into it. All right. So next, what do we have? Collect items that will help you regain your spirit. I believe that means, like, anything with the term spirit in it. So, like, spirit perfume elixirs. Um, just type spirit in the central market, and then you'll figure that out. Collect items that will allow you to see into the future. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky if you don't actually read it. I remember doing this and getting confused. What that means is, like, fortune teller mushrooms or the, like, fortune telling. Um, just search up that word, and you'll find various items. So, yeah. One example would just be fortune teller mushroom, but then you just type in like other things and you'll be good. Uh, for Encyclopedia 5, they added items to the land of the morning light. So basically a uh, ceramics dealer, a vendor that sells all these other stuff and you could just get that done very easy. 
keep items that'll keep you pure and humble. So the key word in here would be pure. So like pure black stones, um, pure crystals, the ones that you heat up into like a tier three uh, material. So you just get three of those. Otherwise, you just type like pure crystal in the market and then buy three different kinds. Uh, collect an item that'll make you swell up with tears. So like the key word in here is tears. So um, that's what you're going to just look up and there's various things. So pick one and then buy it. So for volume six, chapter three, added the following items counted towards completion. So you can use all of these things. I think these are the land in a morning light. The new crystals that came out. Uh, yeah, definitely don't exchange a Giran's tier or literally any of these tiers. I don't know what a dragon's tier is actually, but I would not exchange any of these because these are like pretty good items and they're kind of expensive. So... It just like, I think what they're saying is that's an option to do, but I would still recommend doing the cheaper ones that exist already. Uh, added to following items counted towards completion, magic tanning knife. This one's fine because, uh, like magic tools are kind of fading out of relevancy over the years, ever since, um, like the Manos equivalents or mastery gear has come into the game magic tools are kind of fading out so if you have a bunch of these left over or you can buy them that's cool just get rid of them all right so Igor batali's adventures so all of these do actually give ap and dp i believe so like permanent stats which i think are extremely relevant and if you are a person who takes this game seriously um these adventure journals are not optional you basically need them because more stats is better all right, so the Igor Bartali's adventures uh, defeat trolls around Quintil. Uh, so basically, you had to do that and acquire like a unique loot piece, and now you just have to probably kill a certain number of them. I do think that's a lot better. Like when there's when you're removing the RNG aspect of the game, which I know removing RNG from Black Desert um, is a little bit different. Breeding a horse and try taming a wild horse. It is different. It's like breeding is one of those things that I don't think most people do with. But like if you do training as the life skill a lot, it's probably fine. But as a new player, um, just taming a wild horse is fine. Plus you do you should be doing it anyway to collect the um, leaves and stuff for your tier 10s in the future. So you might as well get that done while you're at it. That's cool. Uh, volume 8, Chapter 1. Ride a four-wheeled wagon and have fun. What if I don't want to have fun? Um, if you wish to proceed with the forest wagon, you can now talk to Igor Bartali. So yeah, you don't need the forest wagon. They actually, you can buy it off the market. And I think the NPC sells the very cheap wagons. So like, I don't think this should be an issue for anyone. Just uh, get on a wagon and talk to the dude. Borrow a cannon from Terran Underfoe, which I believe is the blacksmith NPC, and hit the target. Self-explanatory. Can be revealed through a chat with the black spirit. I don't remember this one, to be honest, but made it easier. Cool. Making it okay, so this is obviously before and after. Before it was making advanced cooking utensil, and now it's making Balano's traditional utensil. I think they made this easier in a way that um, so obviously the advanced ones cost more materials to make and Balano's ones you don't need like all the materials. So in theory, it's a little bit easier, but like would, did this one really matter? Probably not. Volume 13. Ride a tamed miniature elephant. So what did they actually change? Um, change the objective. Give Shikatu... 300 G gold bars. I think that's 30 mil. It looks like it's more than it actually is. 30 million silver and permission to raise an elephant. Oh, so basically what they changed is instead of bars, you can just give silver. Kind of a nice quality of life. Reduce the number of objectives for the villa. 
from 20 to 10. Yeah, just, it's cool. All right. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think you really had to do much out of that one. And the next one is the Herald's Journal. I believe this one was actually a huge pain because I still remember a few years ago actually doing this one. And I got this done pretty easily simply because I had a tier 9 Pegasus back in the day. And, like, it's basically going from point A to B to C and all this stuff and talk, like, doing a big circle. And you had a time limit, and that time limit was very tight. So, like, basically, you had to have a near-perfect horse. or so not really perfect, but you had to have one that, like, has drift and everything, instant excel. And uh, nowadays, I don't think that's really a problem because they gave out those free tier 9s to everyone. And I hope all of you chose a Pegasus if you didn't have any others. But, yeah, they're basically, with this one, raising the time limit to, to give more lenience to your average player. And I think that's overall good. So, if you've never done this one, make sure to do it. It probably still is pain, but you have more time to do that. So, yeah, I remember that one. So, this is part of the adventure logs that I wanted to talk about. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the video that I had. It's obviously out of date now, but if you wanted to see what it was like before, I remember doing it. So yeah, uh, it's probably irrelevant. I should probably just delete that old video since this came out. But with that said, um, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to drop in the comments, happy to answer it and all that stuff. And if you're new to your channel, hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you guys come back another time. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Peace.